I just want to cover a couple of tips in this video on organization that hopefully you'll never need but it's good to have and not need it than to need it and not have it especially if we're talking a year or two down the line you've got a bazillion different blogs a whole bunch of domains and your hosting account decides to go belly up or whatever the nightmarish scenario you can think of but having this information will make that particular nightmare a lot easier to deal with and the information I'm referring to and this is just an example by all means consider this as a work in progress not something that's written in stone and has to be perfect from the very get-go the idea here is to start start your organizational habits now and just add to them or grow them as you go along so anytime you come up with a new idea just add it to your organizational habits and bing bang boom keep on going let me get this guy out of the way here now this would be kind of an idea that I'm referring to as far as a, a structure of sorts. You create a folder on your desktop and you title it My Blogs or My Domains or My Websites, whatever. And inside of that folder, you have several other folders. And for example, one would be your domain, whatever, gardening.com or something. Uh, in this case, for lack of imagination, blog one. And inside of this folder, you've got, a, you've got several other folders. Uh, one named images and you guessed it inside of that one you're going to have images and another named backups and inside of this one you're going to have two more folders one named files one named database because as far as a blog is concerned these are the two items that without you don't have a blog so you want to keep a running tally of the files and a running tally of the databases now in mine for example I have two backups I have two backups of files the older one and the newest one. Databases likewise, the older one and the newest one. And then whenever I do a new backup, I just delete the oldest one. So I've got two in there. Again, if you do this daily, uh, weekly, monthly, <laughs> heaven forbid, annually, then you've got however many in here. And those you would want to date. So you have some kind of an idea as to what information is within that particular backup. Also, I've got a miscellaneous, a kind of a catch-all. If you sell advertising space or banners on your blog, for example, then you want to be able to quickly put those back into play because your customers in most cases may have already paid for that so you want to keep them in the forefront of your thinking whenever you're trying to restructure or recreate your blog that has gone bye bye so under any other type of a folder be it miscellaneous or advertising or whatever maybe you've got affiliate products in there that you're res that you're selling or you got resell products again just Use these as guides to go by, and once you get started, your brain is going to kick into high gear and come up with some additional ideas. I'm pretty darn sure. So let me just kind of show you a structure that I'm referring to here, and again, the all-important records, and I'll touch on that here in just a second too. But let's say you've got a folder created on your desktop, and you've titled it Blog 1 or Domain 1 or My Domains or whatever, and inside of here you've got a few different folders, the all-important miscellaneous, the images and the backups. Now under this one here, as I mentioned, I got two folders, one for database backups and one for files backups. And in addition to these folders here, I would also have some documents in here like text documents or PowerPoint slides or or maybe even videos that I created some kind of screen capture of the process of doing this or that. Just again things that if you think about what would I do if my site was no no longer there if I had to recreate my site what would you need what tools would make that process a little less nightmarish those are the things you want to include in here now as far as records as I had mentioned before this is just a, a guide again use it as as a template if nothing else but every time that I get a new domain I break out this guy I've got one as a template and I just fill in the blanks and this is most of this is information you'll get from the email from your new hosting account be it HostGator, Bluehost, Lunar Pages, whatever but they'll send you an email with a lot of this stuff go ahead and document it then and there or just copy that email and put that document in your folder for that particular uh, domain and things like IP address again some of this you may never ever need but it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it kind of sort of thing. Uh, the date that the domain was established, uh, maybe what name server you were using, you know, things like that. Username, password for the cPanel and FTP details, the, the blog username and password to log in. 
I gotta tell you folks, I'm a firm believer in RoboForm. I don't want this to be a sales pitch for RoboForm, but I gotta tell you their free one, which I believe holds up to 10 passwords, I use that within a few hours. I mean, uh, I'm, once you get into it, you're gonna be hooked. And things like this would not be so necessary. I keep both actually, redundancy but I keep this and my RoboForm files, but most of this information is in my RoboForm uh, details. So if uh, forever anything happened and went wrong with my RoboForm files, well, I got it here and vice versa. So never too uh, redundant if you ask me. But database information, if you happen to go with this particular domain, let's say you just go hog wild and fantastical with this particular domain and you've got yourself a, uh, some kind of a forum, you've got uh, several blogs you know with subdomains and and so on you've got OS ticket you got a help desk keep tab of all of the database information in one location again some of the stuff once you create that especially using Fantastico you're not going to have that information available to you unless you really dig deep so you want to keep this stuff in one location hopefully you'll never need it but just in case you do it'll make that process a lot easier to swallow and to deal with. So these are just guides. Again, make it not so much perfect from the get-go, but just make it. I mean, start. That way, as you progress through your marketing endeavors and you get another idea on how to better organize your, your stuff, then uh, just add to it. The key behind this video, though, is to get you started in the organization and hopefully some of these tips will really help you out. Thank you very much for watching this video and you have a great day.